Hello there and welcome to the part 2 video of this Amazon Prime data analytics case study. So the first video was about the uh, data exploration and the second video is about the developing a data science model. So in this video I will give you some questions which you can practice to uh, which you can practice your uh, through which you can practice your data science skills. All right. So with that, um, first thing first, that it is important that you look at the very first video. Uh, link is present in the description for the first first video if you have not already watched it. But uh, let's move on uh, to the next step. So the f the next question which I have for you is uh, this is a question number twenty two as you can see. So twenty one question I have already posted about it. So we are building upon on that. So how do you create new column based on hit movie or hit TV show versus average versus flop? So like hit movie, average movie and flop movie. Similarly, hit TV show, average TV show or flop TV show. You can create that or for the sake of simplicity, you can also say that, okay, what is a hit movie and what is a flop movie, right? And I want to give you a hint. So this is a new column which I have added, uh, which is a rating, right? So based on this rating, you need to basically identify or you need to find a way, you need to think about it uh, that one is the higher, the lowest rating that that is being given and 10 is the highest rating that is being given uh, to any movie or TV show, right? So based on the rating, what you have, how would you determine or how would you bifurcate the rating so that it can tell you whether it's a hit movie or a flop movie? Right. So you need to create that column and identify that. I want to uh, basically if, if you have an innovative way or a creative way to identify this, create that. If you want to start with the simple, you know, start with the simple, the, but it will be interesting to see uh, what, what your uh, you know, method is. If possible, write it in the comments and uh, it will be helpful for everyone who is learning from this case study. Now the second thing is, second question what I have is, uh, once you have determined this, little bit of exploration about whether or which genre one has most hit movies. So you have in the previous video, I have asked you to create multiple columns based on the genre like comedy and drama. So genre one is uh, comedy and genre two is drama and drama international and so on and so forth. So based on the genre one, like comedy, drama, action, documentary, drama, that means the first value in this column, uh, which genre has the most hit movies? You need to explore this piece. After that, does the genre one of hit movies show a trend change? So what does this mean is basically if let's say comedy movies were uh, based on this release year, if uh, let's say 10 years back comedy movies were mostly successful then right now is it like thriller movies are most more interesting or more hit or documentary is more hit or that means how the trend is basically shifting so what does this data basically says you need to figure it out whether it's a trend change is happening and a very important thing which you know if you are working in a movie production house or let's say in amazon prime itself or somewhere in a similar company then then they will basically may want to invest in, tho in, in those uh, movies or TV shows which will become a hit and follow a trend. After that uh, what is the average duration of hit movies by genre one? Another important thing like if someone has to decide one thing is what is the current trend and generally for the hit movies what is uh, the average duration so that you are not creating too lengthy or too small movie. After this, what you have is that, is this differed significantly by country? Now, since we have the country dimension as well, you may need to figure it out uh, whether this, these questions, right, 23, 24, 25, uh, is this significantly differed by country, right? So it's like you can add one dimension if you are you know using programming or any tool where you once you add the dimension very quickly it will show all this analysis um, after that the question number 27 is does the genre one of hit movies and flop movies differ significantly based on the release year this is basically just to understand uh, how many movies were created or tv shows were created 
uh, uh, opposite of trend let's say and whether this is changing or what sort of observation that you are seeing based on the release here then does this durate does the duration of hit movies and flop movies differ significantly again to develop an understanding as to what action you need to take and what action you don't need to take right so that's that's another question yeah, which can give insights now after that uh, the first machine learning question this is where the machine learning basically start create data set for machine learning to identify hit movies and divide this into train and test data set so it's like a you can take a you know normal path which is 70% uh, is train and 7 and 30% is test also what i can recommend is uh, you do the cross validation as well once once you are doing the model tra model training and testing you know you can apply the cross validation if you don't know the cross validation you know that's that's one of the videos i have posted earlier that you can look at it but but important feature when you want to get the most out of your train and test data set after that uh, what you have is the fit the appropriate model on train data set and predict the values based on the data set right so what will be the appropriate model which will give you the hit movie and flop movie right think about this if you are new if you are an experienced one you know as soon as i have said over here about hit movie or flop movie you know what uh, model you need to use but since it is for a practice i want you to think about it based on the learning that you have done so far and uh, create fit the appropriate model on the train and uh, train data set and predict the values after that uh, what is the accuracy metric that you will use to validate the output of model and find the accuracy value so very important that one or multiple accuracy metric that you will use especially in this case uh, where you know you need to determine one or the other option you need to you need to have you are having multiple accuracy metrics and you need to determine what accuracy metric you will use let's say in a combination if you have multiple if you want to identify multiple metrics as well then how they complement each other is something what you need to identify and you need to find the accuracy value so after that next question is uh, which parameters play a huge role for the success of movie now this is very interesting because what happens is whenever you are done with your modeling and uh, presenting the output one of the very first question you know usually your business users will ask oh what is that parameter which is what are the top parameters or what are the top you know uh, fields or column values which is impacting the movie like it whether it is a duration uh, whether it it has uh, the genre or whether it is you know very specific something a combination of genre and duration or a country you know all of those things which which we have uh, as part of this data set so that's something you need to basically identify based on the model that you are fitting should give you the parameters that plays a huge role for the success of movie final question is very very important and that's where once everything is done when it's like um, almost 95 percent of the work is done and first meeting is done then the very uh, next rational step or intuitive step is how would you improve let's say uh, you identify that your accuracy after running the model very first time and doing everything you know you get an 80 percent of the output but uh, your stakeholders are saying okay no we we need to have at least 90 percent of the output because we are you know going to spend millions based on the recommendation that you are making so we don't want to have a 20 percent as error margin but maybe just 10 percent and uh, uh, and in 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 that 10 percent error margin we want to apply our domain knowledge right so what will you do to improve the model from hereafter and that's where which is an iterative cycle which in which you spend a couple of weeks or maybe i don't know months if, if it is like too difficult of problem and uh, identify how you can take the accuracy let's say from 80 percent to 90 percent or i don't know even from 90 percent to 95 percent wherever how much it is possible because higher the um higher the stake better the accuracy is what you need in your model so that's what i wanted to give you a uh, couple of uh, next 12 questions so this is from 22 to question 33 so around 12 question is what i wanted to give you 
which you can practice for uh, which you can practice uh, use to practice your data science skills. So let me know uh, if you want to share um, your work, maybe by uploading it on a, a GitHub or somewhere, or get, get yeah GitHub or somewhere. That's I think the best way, um, so that um, you know your interesting work can be shared. Uh, you know you can share it in the comments, and others can see as well as to what you're working on. So yeah, that's about it. And now I'll meet you in the next video, and probably this time I will going to take a altogether new concept. If you have any recommendation or any suggestion, also let me know. I will take that and uh, produce a case study. So with that, thank you so much. I will meet you in the next video.